Shalom, shalom. I'm the brother Shemayim. You the brother Balak. Shalom. Brother Lahab. Shalom. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect. You know, let's start off by giving all honor, praises, and glory to we want to give double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone who rule well and taught us this truth and are still teaching to this day. We want to say shalom to the house of Dawuda and shalom to the Aqua staying in order. Shalom. 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 You know, this lesson is through the spirit. And um, like I said before, low willing is edifying to the elect. This lesson is about, you know, how we're about to go through hard times difficult times, tribulation, you know, Jacob's trouble, which what what's in Jacob's trouble, you know, a lot of things, martial law, you know, civil war, the MOTB, World War Three, we're about to go through hell, you know, which hell means, you know, um, hard times, evil times, you know, um, difficult times, you know, right. you guys want to add on what hell means, you know, that's it was a right. hell's a condition. condition. Hell's in a condition. The water. Right. The water. And, you know, you know, we've been we've been in hell since uh since we was exiled, man. That's right. right. That's right. And and you know we're about to go through through worse things, you know. And um the point the point of this lesson is for the for the elect to understand, you know, which the elect is gonna understand. But it's our duty as watchmen to tell the sheep and give warning and you know tell the sheep that. Our salvation, our defense, our protection, our shield, you know, our helmet is Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. There is nothing in this world, you know, that can protect you, defend you, or take care of you in these last days, but Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. You know, and we, and we got scriptures, you know, to back that up, you know? So if you got right. if your brother got a scripture, you know, start it off, you know. Yep, I got the book of uh just to back the brother up. There's a book of uh Proverbs, chapter three, uh, verse five. And it says, Trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shimi Shai, with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding, and all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. You know, and this is exactly what we're gonna need in these troubling times that are, are are coming upon us, you know, in Jacob's trouble, like the brother was talking about, you know, we're going to have to put our full trust stock in Yahweh by Shimei was shy, you know, uh, the people that are like uh, uh, preppers and everything like that. And, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but ultimately, you know, you could have all these things. You could be cast out of your house before you can grab anything. That's right. So, you know, our main, our main uh, uh, point and, 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 uh, message for your brothers and sisters that are out there of the hopeful elect that are listening is to put all your stock into Yahweh by Shimei was shy and that is is uh what you need to trust in like the scripture said you know that's right right that's ultimately man is uh spiritual prepping is what we're doing it's the only prepping. type of prepping that that uh that brothers and sisters uh could do man that's right that's right that's exactly right, you know, and, and a key um, point in that verse that the brother, you know, read, you know, the brother Lahav is trusting the Lord, you know, going back into it. There's nothing, you know, um, there's no carnal, you know, um, thing, you know, for lack of better words, that will, is going to help in these last days. Only, only the Lord is going to sustain you and help you in these last days and take care of you and, you know, um, Ultimately, it's the elect that the Lord's going to take care of, you know, which is the, the Lord's servants, you know. Yeah. So if you're doing if you're doing what you're um, commanded to do, you know, to, which is, you know, everybody has a lot, you know, but the 144, the one elect is to be a watchman and get warning, you know, and following the commandments and, and trying to endure to the end so that we can be saved. Those are the men that the Lord's going to take care of, you know, the ones that are doing the, the will of Yahweh by Shem Shah, you know, on on the righteous side, you know, right. and I got a precept, you know, um, that I'm going to get. It's um Isaiah 65 and 13. I'm going to read it for you. I'm going to book a shot. I'll read it for you. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, behold, mm -hmm. my servants shall eat. That's right. But ye shall be hungry. Mm -hmm. Behold, my servants shall drink. 
for ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You know, and um, this is a beautiful scripture, you know, proving that the Lord is the one that's going to take care of you, man. And he's going to take care of his servants. You know, so if you're doing the will, you have by Shem Yahushan, the righteous side, man, the Lord's going to take care of you, man. You know, if you if you part of the elect, the Lord is going to take care of you, you know, and and it's beautiful because, you know, it says that we're going to eat and we're going to drink, but the rest shall be hungry and thirsty. Why? Because those are the wicked, man. Those are the ones that didn't hearken on the Lord. Those are the ones that that believed in carnality, that had no faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that didn't believe that the Lord can defend them, that the Lord could take care of them in these times, you know? That's why right now, man, hey, the scripture says that um that we are we are fools for Hamashiach, but in Hamashiach we are wise. So yeah, you you might think we look like fools going out here in the highways and byways giving warning, you know. Hey, but when 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 um the rubber meets the road, hey man, you gonna see a difference, man, because that's why it says that uh, a man shall be a a um how does it go a, a hiding place from the wind. And who is that man? The man of the Lord. You know, so the men of the Lord, the servants are the ones that are going to eat. They're the ones that are going to drink. And they're the ones that are going to rejoice. I mean, we're going to be glad in these times, man, because we're going to have protection. We're going to have a defense. You know, the Lord's going to be taking us, uh, taking care of us. He's going to be guiding our steps. Why? Because we run into him, man. Like the scripture says, the righteous run into him because the Lord name is a strong tower for us, man. And we believe in, in the Lord. You know, we only believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. There is nothing else that we believe in that's going to be a defense in these last days. Hey, right. I got a scoop. Right. I got a precept for you if you want, since you're holding right. it. It's a lot here. I got one too after here. you, bro. Okay. Yep. Yeah, just real quick, since he since he mentioned, this is Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord, Yahweh, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. That's right. right. That's right. That's exactly right, man. And we have faith in the Lord, man. You know, we have faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh with all our with all our heart, man. Like I said earlier, you know, um, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not in thy own understanding, man. We trust right. fully with the Lord, man. That's why we might look like fools, man. The scripture says that pleases the Lord of the foolishness of preaching, man. So it's okay. It's okay how we look because that's the it's okay how we look. We don't care how we look because we fear the heavenly father, man. And, we and fear ultimately. Him. I was gonna, I was gonna say, and ultimately, that's us seeking the Lord through right. through, through right. the things that we just mentioned, and 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 us doing so, you know, Psalms nine and ten tells says, and they that know Thy name will put their trust in Thee, for right. Thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek Thee. That's right. 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 That's right, man. The Lord will not forsake you that seek Him, man. That's why the scriptures also say, you know, um, seek Thy Creator in Thy youth. While the evil days come not, man. Right. You no, know, proving that that all we're doing is seeking the Lord, man. And that all we're doing is trusting in the Lord. That's and, that's and, all we have. And Ak, if I may write, it's prepping because but it's spiritual prep. Right. right. You, you know, you're preparing yourself now for the things to come. Because if we if you believe that you're in this life, you believe uh you know, scriptures that just these scriptures, then then believe the fact that. It's telling you that you have to prepare yourself before um, in the spirit, before, um, like, as the brother just said, before the evil days come nigh, man, before the right. evil days get near and that where evil goes into uh, bad times. Before these bad right. times get close to us, you, you prep yourself, man, you know, right. by, by getting closer to, to your creator. Yeah, that's, that's right. Like, yeah. And just to back, you know, both you brothers up, you know, with the uh, um, <clears throat> the faith, you know, um, in, the, in the prepping, it, it's more of a like. Uh, Brother Malak said a spiritual prep, mm -hmm. you know, and Yahweh Shai said it best, right? So, you know, we, we they have the, the doomsday preppers, they have all the different food and different clothing and, and shelters and whatnot. Weapons. But, yeah, weapons and all that. Right, 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 right. But, but Yahweh Shai himself said not to worry about these things, right? Because we have faith. And this is uh, right. Matthew uh, 6, and I'll start at just two verses real quick, 25 and 26. Uh, starting at 25, it says, like I said, this is uh, in the red letter. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, Beautiful. what ye shall eat right. or what ye shall drink. 
Mm -hmm. nor yet for your body what ye shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment and this is the point behold the fowls of the air for they sow not neither do they reap nor gather into barns yet your heavenly father feedeth them are ye not much better than they so that's the point you know and the answer to that is yes right exactly you know, and this is this this proves, man, the faith that a man has to have, you know, um, believing that Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai are going to sustain us in these last days, man. There is nothing that's going to sustain you in these last days but the Lord, man, you know, because the Lord's servants are going to eat regardless. And we truly believe in this, man. And these scriptures are a comforter, you know, reading these right. scriptures. These scriptures, you know, makes us want to go harder because because the scriptures itself is a living book. You know what I'm saying? And we see how the scriptures um back up the past, the present, and the future, you know, prophecy itself. So we see that this is a living book and that it, it manifests and it is manifesting right before our eyes. So that being said, that builds our faith even more in believing these scriptures, you know, to to um to point out that the law is going to take care of us, man. There was a scripture that says that um that it, it is better for a man to die by the sword than by um starvation. By right. Right, right it's better. Right. Yeah, con, con. Right, roughly paraphrasing it, man. Right. So, hey, don't take this lightly, man. We we're trying to tell, like, look, man. America has a high percentage of of um um what is it called um, um uh um homelessness. No, um um I, I always I always bring this up when they eat a lot. You know what I'm saying? Oh, obesity. obesity. Right. right, and and these last days, man. What's coming? Famine, food shortages. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's gonna take care of His servants, right? So you gotta have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Believe in the Lord, do His will, man. Stop having faith in this world. Stop having faith in carnality. You know, and I got a scripture to back that up as well. You know, um, this is the you got a brother the 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 scripture that says that um my weapons of warfare are not carnal. Yeah, uh, is that uh, Corinthians 10 and 4? Corinthians. You want me to bring that out? Oh, Come on, sure. I'm just bringing it out here for the people can read, you know. Lahab, you, you, you want to bring that out? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I can grab it. Yeah, what was it again? Sorry, it's locked here. Second, Second Corinthians, Corinthians 10. I got it on the board. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah, oh, it's locked here. Yeah, I'll read it for you, bro. Okay. Yeah, I'm only yeah. asking because I know you said you were going to bring that one out earlier. Yep, this is, this is a book of uh, Second Corinthians 10. Verse four, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. That's right. So our weapons of warfare are not carnal, you know, and, you know, I was talking about there's nothing in this world, you know, con- that's carnal that can take care of you. You know, there's no um, there's no um, weapons. There's not enough food prepping. It's not you trying to create a a, um, a society or, or trying to create a community. There's not enough, you know, um, there's nothing that you can do in this world that's going to, it don't matter how much weapons you have, you know, hey man, bunkers, you know, hidden places, nothing, man. Our weapon of warfare is not carnal. You know what I'm saying? This is a, this is a, 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 of faith that we have a gift that the Lord has blessed us with, which is faith, believing that the Lord is, is um the only one, Yahweh Bashem Yahshad is gonna take care of us in these last days. There's no carnal. Hey, even in Romans 8 says to be carnal mind is enmity, man. So, That's like true. the brother said, there's a there's a balance. Like, yeah, you can prep a little bit of that, you can prep a little of that, you can have your clothes, your boots, but in the back of your mind, you're gonna say, Hey, look, there's a possible this is a, a high possibility that I'm gonna have to dip and leave all this shit here, man. So right. ultimately, our mind is not, I don't got a whole basement full of canned um canned food. You know, I don't got a full basement full of weapons. When Esau starts coming in, I'm gonna have all the, hey man, I'm gonna have this automatic, I'm gonna have this this double barrel shit, I'm gonna have the Glock, you know what I mean? Hey man, none of that, man. None of this carnality yeah. bullshit is gonna save you. For our weapons are warfare, not carnal. You know, proving that we're not, we're not in a carnal state of mind. We truly believe in the Lord. And that is our biggest weapon. That is one of our biggest gifts, you know, that we have faith. That Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is going to sustain us in these last days. Right. 
No? Right. You guys you guys got something? Yeah, I got something. Um just going into the faith. Well, actually, I got I got two quick ones. Uh, so the first, just explaining what faith is, right? Uh, this is Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And this is what the brother was just speaking about. You know, if we get cast out of our house before we have a chance to have any of our carnal goods, our, our little bug out bags or what have you, even our cars, you know, um, you know, we're just out there. All we have, you know, and all we always, you know, all we uh, had this whole time since we came into the truth is faith. That's right. Which is a gift, like the brother was saying. That's you know, right. this is uh, just to back that up. This is uh, Romans 8 and uh, 24. For we are saved by hope. Beautiful. But hope, it, uh, hope that is seen is not hope. That's right. A man seeth, why doth he yet hope for it? This Ooh. is what the whole point of it. You know what I mean? That's right. You know, that's exactly it, right, man. Exactly. That's why we don't we're not trusting in carnality because that that's not hope. That's ultimately not hope. That's Apostle Paul speaking right here. That's right. You know, because because hey, there's a lot of times where the scriptures speak about certain situations where the you know um the the man of the Lord escapes certain troubles. Uh, and you know, in a in a in a mentality now, which you know, this century, mm -hmm. people think they're so smart when the scripture says the wisdom of the world is foolishness. Foolish. People think they're so smart and they have a technical answer for everything because they can see it. That's how Esau works. Esau is faithless, man. They have to right. physically create or do or say something that proves what they're saying. When I was well, well, um, what we um understand and express to the people is all based on faith. You know, right. something that we can't say. We can't see Yahweh Shai. You know, we can't see him um um physically, but we have faith that he's gonna crack them clouds and he's gonna be a a, a so called black man from the tribe of Judah. We have right. faith in that. We have faith that in hard times the Lord's gonna send his his um angel. You know um. The, um, the archangel Michael to protect us because the scripture says for the elect's sake, you know, because right. not no flesh shall be saved. This is the faith that we have, you know, the scripture says he's going to, he's going to feed us. This is the faith that we have, man. Right. You no, know? that's why the scripture says he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. That's right. That's we pray to the Lord to, to bless us with the, with the spirit of endurance so we can endure to the end. And that's what we always say. Lord's will, Lord's will, because none of this is of us. All of this right. is the Lord's will, you know? That's right. But we got to believe, man. We got to believe those things that you just mentioned. Man. Right. People who got to believe. Brothers and sisters that are listening and learning got to believe, man. Because if you, if you don't believe this, man, then you, you're not, you're not going to be safe, man. Because yeah, you're through. The, the, Lord, the Lord ain't coming ain't coming back from non-believers, man. That's right. You, you wholeheartedly got to believe, man, even like right. to your core, bro. Because it's going to get to a point where, where, I have to get this even, time. Yeah, get that. Even the men of the Lord are going to are going to uh, at, at times are going to be afraid, you know what I'm saying? Because right. because of the calamities that are about to unfold out here, man, you know? Mm -hmm. And if and, and the only thing keeping you the only thing keeping you uh uh sane will be the uh, the wisdom and knowledge that through 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 the hope that all that is going to come to 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 pass the salvation of the Lord is what's going to keep you sane, basically, man. Hey, just right. like it says in the scripture, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. Of time. Uh, Your yes. mind is going to be stable. Right. You know uh, what I'm saying? Those that don't believe, they they're chilling right now. They they're not crying right, right now. They right. they're laughing it right now. You know, but we're right. crying now to 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 laugh later because right. exactly. the, the scriptures literally tell us that right that my yep. my servant shall eat drink. And right. my the, people uh, shall be married. rejoice, and they and shall rejoice. be ashamed. And, right. and exactly, and there should be a shame. So the people that are going to be ashamed are all the people that are laughing it out right now. That's right. You know what I mean? Right. And the brothers that are going to be um and, and um, merry and, and joyful in that day, um is going is the people the, the brothers that are crying out right now, man. You know that's right. why the scripture says, "Put a mark, put up that tawab on the ones that cry inside yeah. for um uh, for all the abominations um, that be done in the midst thereof. Exactly, that's right. man. You Ezekiel nine and four. That's right. That's right. You know. Yep. Beautiful. Love now, I, I got this yeah. scripture, you know, backing up with what the brother said that you have to have faith. You have to have faith because you that don't have faith, then I add it in, you're through. 
You know, right. in the scriptures, the, the scriptures talk about this, you know. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15. I'm going to start at verse 3. Fear not the imagination against thee. You, right. you, you faithless, you know, um, simpletons. You know, because the scripture says, how long were you simple with love simplicity? So that's right. why you were simpleton, man. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. The incredulity is a non-belief. They, 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 they don't believe in this, you know. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And this is one of the, this is the main point. For the all... non-believers are going to, the non-believers are going to be talking smack about the believers. Right. They're going to be right. scoffers. Right. They're going to be bucking up. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. right. Verse all four. Right. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So that right. means that if we're the faithful ones, right? Because we sign in crime because we know these things are going to happen. The right. ones that are not doing it are the unfaithful. Mm -hmm. And right. the scriptures tell you that the faithful, and in, in so many words, the, the faithful are gonna are gonna be saved if you know if, they, if it be their lot. So that means the flip side to that is that you that don't believe right now, and and are filled of incredulities, you're gonna be you're gonna be taken out. You're not gonna be saved in that time, man. And yeah. it's gonna be a time as the as it never was in this world, man. You know. Right. So we we fear that brother. We fear that so much that this is why we're doing what we do right now. That's right. We haven't even seen that, and we have faith that that's gonna happen. That's you right. Know what I'm saying we haven't even seen those things come down, man. When the earth is telling the the, the, the scripture is telling you that the, the the earth is gonna rock to and fro as a drunkard. We believe mm -hmm. that, man. That's right. We can believe that, man. You know. And just and just to back you up, brother. You know that's the spirit too, because uh, you know we were just talking about this earlier. It was saying um, you know all these calamities that are coming upon you know and how even us knowing it and trying our best to be on the right side of Yahweh by Shimei was shy. Even we're, you know, like, like uh, Ezra's was saying, what was me? What was me? What, who, mm -hmm. you know, who should deliver me in those days? Right. Right. Like the scripture says, I found, you know, Malak, you know, we was talking about it, it was in sec I believe it's second Peter. Yeah. But it said, if, if the righteous scarcely be saved right, and what shall happen to them that believe not this gospel or roughly paraphrasing, right. you know, so we're being the faithful, and we're hoping to be saved. So what's going to happen to the ones that don't believe, huh? that don't even try to get right and repent? How much worse for them if the That's righteous right, scarcely be saved? That's you know right. what I'm saying? That's right. I got a, I got a uh, scripture. I got a uh, Psalms 28 and 7. Hold on, let, me, let me get that, brother. Oh, you want to put it up? Uh, Psalms 28 and 7? 28 and 7, yep. Because it's all, it's all about Yahweh Shah, man. You know what I'm saying? Coming right. through for us, man. But coming through for us as, in the sense that us will be the uh, the the faithful, the elect that we hope right. to be a part right. of. You know what I mean? That's right. Right. You let me know. Should I? Yeah, I got it, it brother. You can you can read it. Um, you want me to read it for you? So I'm, well, I, I could read it out if you want to go into it. Um, right, you got it. You got it, brother. All right. Psalms 28 and 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. Beautiful. My heart, meaning my mind, trusted in him. Right. And I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoice. And with my song, will I praise him? You know, right, right. And basically, man, you know, us trusting in him, trusting in him, you know, uh, we're helped. Um, and we're going to um, basically, it's how it says, the Lord is my strength and my shield because we're going to need strength and we're going to need him as a shield for the things that are going to be coming by, man. You know, we, us brothers, you know, because that's what it means to be a soldier, man, to be sojourning solo, to be dolo, right, out here. And when all hell right. breaks loose, man, you, you're going to want to be with brothers, man. You know, and the Lord might, may, may have it that brothers link up some way, somehow, right? You know, but but for for um, for um those that are going to be out there um, alone, whether it be a few hours to a whole day or so, whatever have you, you know, whatever lot we what a brother falls into, respective lot a brother falls into, the only strength um keeping you going is the Lord. And the only right. shield that you're gonna have from these niggas trying to trying to rip you to pieces, you know what I mean? These demons out here, these two thirds and these uh these other nations starting with Esau, um, uh, is the only shield is Yahweh Shah. You know, so that's that's, that's why right. we're gonna have to trust in him because that's the only help we got, man. And we're going to rejoice right. because we're going to, I believe, man, that it's going to play out like this. We're going to, you're going to know in the spirit that the Lord just helped you out, man. That's that right. The Lord, the right. Lord, that Yahweh just gave charge over the angels, as the scripture says, man, to, 
to look o- to look over you because you're like, oh man, these niggas didn't even hit me. These niggas didn't even touch me. You know, they 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 didn't even see me. Right. I was right, right there just still, you know, saying yeah, how about me? I was shining my head and they just walked right by me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like again, right. that, that account, that scene where um where in, in the book of Eli when they shooting Eli. at uh, at Denzel and they clearly hit hit him, you know, a couple of times. But that 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 you know, that's that um that uh that whole movie was spiritual, man. Right. You know, it skimmed them. Clearly, right. him, it skimmed them. Huh? It skimmed. I think. I think if I'm not mistaken, it, it hit them. It just didn't affect them. But I could be wrong. Like, I, I seen. I or I. Hey. Um. I seen. That was it's, a lot of it's bullets. Definitely spiritual that. powers are. It's yeah, definitely. Yeah, I no, seen the scenes where where they were shooting at him, but it just wouldn't hit him. Somehow oh, they oh. were they were aiming right at him, but the yeah. bullets weren't hitting him. You know. Yeah, and yeah. That, and, that's and know spiritual much, powers, bro. How much more? That was in the movie. Mm-hmm. On on, a, on some right hand side, you know, even though on some left hand, even though the law had had to do with it, right? right? But how much more when you are, if if you are a part of the uh, uh the elect yeah, to be right. safe, they, they they could hit you with a whole banana clip that is not gonna. It's, if the Lord don't want you to go, it's just it's not it's just not gonna happen, right. you know. Right. So right. after I, after I, they after they run out of bullets and they get scared from seeing that they didn't even touch you or they just went right by you and they now they like a block away or you know a few hundred a few yards away and now you could move on to the to 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 where you was trying to go How, you're going to tell me that you're not going to be rejoicing in that time as this scripture right. just said well, you know what i'm saying and i'm going right. to say something you're going to be in the you're going to be in the shadow <laughs> you know what i'm right. saying right. happy as shit right. man. that's true hey man and if you don't believe in this shit hey then then f you man you know yeah, like, f you because it doesn't matter hey man we are we gladly be fools for your house shot man we gladly will, will risk our lives for you. How about Shimmy Aosha, man? It don't matter how, how like I said earlier, how we look, man. Yes, spiritual powers are coming, and this is what we want, man. That's what we're doing the work, man. I can't wait to have spiritual powers. You know right. what I'm saying? So this is, hey, you might think that we, this guy is crazy. Well, I'll be a fool for you, how shot, man. Trust and believe that because in the last days, that's what it said. Then you should know there was a prophet among you, man. That's what it says. Uh, a man shall be a, a hiding place from the wind. So you're going to see that we're going to have a glow to ourselves. You're going to see the difference in our countenance of us because the Lord doesn't give us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of strength, power, love, and a sound mind. So we have a different countenance, a different spirit than these, these strong working out every day, man. These men that have guns think they thugs and gangsters right now. We're going to see in the last days, like the scripture says, a strong man shall cry there bitterly, man. Only right. the men of the Lord are going to be the ones out here, you know, hey. with a sound mind. Right, hey, I since got you said that right there. Yep. Okay. I was yeah, I got a, a short one. A short, okay, short, short one. Yeah, Psalms yeah, 50, 56 and 3. What mm. what time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. Since you just mm. said, since you just said what you said at the end there, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Con, and that's beautiful because uh that you know that's the spirit, because um I got three quick ones just to go back into the you know, uh the trusting in the Lord, like the uh, mm-hmm. brother Shemayan was just bringing in, you know. We're not going to be wanting for anything because the Lord got us, man, mm-hmm. because we fear the Lord. You know, we we love the Lord. Right. You know, this is uh, and it backs you up too, uh, Malak, what you were saying. Um, this is uh, Psalm uh, 34, and I'll start at 7. The angel of the Lord, Yehovah by Shimei, I was shy, and campeth around about them that fear him and Beautiful. delivereth them. Beautiful. A first, O oh, taste and see that the Lord, Yehovah by Shimei, I was shy, is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Right. Oh, Going fear back. the Lord. Yeah, Khan. Uh, just the last one. I'm slack here. Oh, fear the Lord. Yeah, how about Shimmy? I was shy. Ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. So we're not going to be worried about anything because we fear the Lord and we love the Lord. And That's the Lord right. said he's going to send his angels to camp around us because we fear the Lord. That's right. You know? right. That's the faith that we have, man. Going, right. going back into that's the faith, and 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 you know, um, and we hopeful for that. You know, that's what that's what we that's what we expect from the Lord to take care of us, man. Because right. the Lord, the Lord, <coughs> His word does not go void, man. The Lord said He's gonna take care of His servants, man. That's what we trying to, you know, um, that's what we seeking salvation through fear and trembling and trying to do the Lord's work so that He can show mercy on us, man. And ultimately, we know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is all merciful. You know, merciful right. to the righteous, to his elect, man. So, hey, man, this is this is the faith that we have, you know. And if your brothers right. don't have anything, you know, I got I got a scripture to bring out. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah, go ahead, bro. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter two, verse six. You know, or the book of Sirach. 
um, verse six, two verse six, it says, believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Right. So believe right. in the Lord. Order your ways aright. Get on the right path, man. The Lord is the Lord is um um narrow. The path to the Lord is a narrow path. How, how does it say? It's a narrow gate. A, a, a narrow straight, straight gate. gate. Straight gate. You know? Right. So yeah, hey, man, it, 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 it's it's not easy. It's not gonna be easy. We're gonna have to get um put through this fire and tried wow. by the Lord so we can be turned into gold. But the Lord says, believe in Him and trust in Him. Right. Yep. Hey, before you go on to the next verse, I got a quick precept. Short one, Proverbs 3 and 6. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Ooh, fire. That one came out again. That's beautiful. So, and, 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 oh, and, oh, yeah, you brought you brought yeah, one of y'all. Yeah, that's the spirit, early? bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, yeah. It fits oh, yeah, perfect yeah. though. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, because you, you, you're gonna have to trust him, man. Right. Yeah, that's, but you have to you have to believe that right now. You have that's to right. believe that right now. Ain't no jumping in this. This is that oil that the scriptures speak about, man. Right. right. You you get in that right now because. There's not gonna be no oil later right, on, man. Right, you know, right, right. Beautiful, right, beautiful. Because you're one of the wise, look at yeah, you one like of the wise. Then, and not, now that you got you, your, your tail between your legs, for lack of another uh, terminology, uh, now you want now you want to come and seek me. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 brothers that we know that that are, they get locked up. You know, people that we know mm -hmm. they get locked up. You know, here it is. They acting like straight demons out here. You try to tell them what's up, they get locked up. And now they 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 request some um, Bibles and Qurans and shit, right. you know, because right. they know they they done fucked up, you know. And the Lord, it, it, ultimately, the Lord is putting it on their minds to think that way, you know, which right. is being right. unstable in a way, man. Because it's here it is now. You 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 don't know you you don't, and and you get the scriptures unless you got unless you happen to have a Jake a Israelite that knows and has understanding that got locked up for maybe street preacher or something, you ain't gonna get the, the proper breakdowns in, in, in the um in no prison. You know what I'm saying? Nah. You're not gonna get the full understanding. You know what I mean? Right. For, for if, if 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 a brother was to send you a a, a Bible, man. You know, right. but if we trust in him, he's gonna direct our paths. He's gonna look at That's us right. like he's been faithful this whole time. I got I got him I gotta make sure he walked this way and take a left over there and take a right down two blocks down or whatever however you know it is man. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Beautiful. That's exactly right, man. Yep. That's why the scripture says, you know, um, backing up what the brother said, seek the Lord while he may be found. That's right. Yeah, right. There's going to be a time where the Lord is not going to be here. You know, At all, man. you know, and, and obviously the Lord, he's everywhere. His eyes mm -hmm. are upon the sinful kingdom. But I mean that he's not going to listen to your cries, man. Yeah, that's he what I says, mean. Too, yeah. He even says in the book of Proverbs chapter one that he's going to laugh at your calamities, man. Right. You know, because you 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 um you you um didn't take you know um you didn't hearken onto the Lord for lack of better words, man. Right. And the book of Proverbs chapter one is a beautiful scripture to go into, you know, for for you um for you listeners out there, you know. Um, I'm gonna right. continue in Ecclesiasticus chapter two verse seven. Unless if you got something, uh, I was nah, just gonna I, read. I was just gonna read that quick scripture just to back God, you up what it, you just said, um, Shemayim. Con. Um. This is Proverbs 1, and I'll just read uh, 24, yeah, 24 to 26 real quick. And it reads, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set at naught all my counsels. And who's that counsel? The Lord's mouthpiece. Who's the Lord's right. mouthpiece? His servants, man. Mouthpiece. Who is his servants? Right. You know, the Israelites, the so-called Blacks, Athenians, and Native American. But in this case, it's talking about the elect, the watchmen, the ones that are set up in the watchtower giving you warning how we're doing right. it right now. And lo, right. right. we found in that number. The right. prophets, the, the, the prophets prophesied. The prophesied, prophesied literally means to say before, say something That's before. Right. It That's happens, right. you know? In the yep. world, y'all know it as a what is it a prediction? Um, right, that's uh, what they call. That's what they call the, the the people that have like uh like what's his nigga's name? Leonardo da Vinci is a uh uh. They look oh, at him um, as he's like some type of prophet, you know. Damn, what's the term? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I, I forget. forget I forget the um, word. I'm a lost for word right now, but I know it has to do something around with with predicting. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's what prophesying mean. And the Lord's the Lord the 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 ones that are prophesying are the prophets, man. Right, right. The Lord's mouthpiece, man, telling you, telling you what's about to go down, man. That's right. Right. Um, it said, uh, 
and would none of uh let me see but ye but ye have said at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof i will i also will laugh at your calamity i will mock when your fear cometh mm, when you you know like the brother just said and it mm -hmm. goes on it says when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind when the stress and anguish cometh upon you mm. then like the brother uh malak was just talking about when jake be out here doing all this wicked shit then when they get into a jam, then they want to start calling on the Lord. The right. Lord know that you was already going to, you wicked niggas was going to do that because he said it right here. Then shall they call upon me and I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall sure. not find me. And, and how are you going to call upon him if you don't even know the name? Here it is. You've been ignoring pro the prophets for, for so many years, putting away his counsel, putting aside his counsel, like counsel, his counsel, right. and... And um and now and now you're gonna call on on God, you know what I'm saying? Right. On the word right. of God and on and, and, and on Jesus right. when right. when for for 30 plus years, and we come to find out now, uh uh shout out to to uh what's his that what's his dude's name, Vocaf for uh, and, and his people for bringing out that book that only proves the fact that what we're saying is true, right? Um come to find out for at, oh, at least at, at least a little over 50 years, this this truth has been coming out. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And, and that whole time, Jake just been, Jake just been like, uh, 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 brushing it aside, putting it aside, man. Terry, right, waving a hand, right, waving their hand and Terry, man. Right, you know. Beautiful. That's so right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna continue. Um, in verse seven, Ecclesiasticus chapter two, verse seven. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for His mercy. Right. You see, and that's the faith that we have, because the scripture says, um. Um, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. So now we're trying to we trying to set our ways right. We trying to get on the Lord's good grace, so that we so that He can show His mercy in the time in the times of calamities. That's what what we doing right now is seeking the Lord while He's near. What we doing right that. now is um seek Thy Creator right while the evil days come not. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, um following the Lord's commandments feeding the sheep man that's the fear that we have you know I and mean, that's the faith that we have um towards you how about shimmy shy that's what it says ye that fear the lord wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fall verse eight ye that fear the lord believe him and your reward shall not fail Right. Going, into, going back into the faith that we have in the Lord. We hope that the Lord is going to take care of it. We have faith that the Lord is going to take care of us. You know, that's what it says, believe him and your reward should not fail. What, what, what is the ultimate reward? The kingdom. That's what we want. We want to we want to beat death the same way that Yahweh Shai conquered death. We don't, we don't, hey, the scripture says some of you may not see death. Right. You no. Know? So, and, and the Lord was talking to the apostles back then, the disciples back then, the people back then, and th all those people passed away. So what does that go into? That means that those men have reincarnated today. And Lord willing, we found that number, and, and we don't want to see death, man. That's one of the rewards that we want to see. That's why we're also storing up our treasures in heaven, you know, so that once we get the kingdom, the Lord can bless us with cities, man. Um, hey, we'll be, we'll be, um, it'll be enough. If we are a, a, a doorkeeper, you know, and, 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 and make it in the chariots, you know what I'm saying? And then yeah. we'll be a doorkeeper. But we'll love to to get that penny that everybody is striving for, man. We'll love to get cities. We'll love to be the new judges and new rulers of the world under Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, you know? Right. I got a uh, scripture real quick. Can I? Can I? Um, this is Isaiah 41 and 10. Yahweh speaking, right? Fear thou, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with thy with the right hand of my righteousness. And and um, who's the Lord's um right hand? When you get it, in, if y'all want to get it in the Psalms, if not, it's okay. But when uh, King David said, uh, was uh was prophesying basically. You know, and that account where he said, the Lord said to my Lord, um, man, I don't want to butcher it. Let me get it real quick. It's 
to lock you. Um, I believe it's in Psalms 110. Yeah, Psalms um, 110, the first verse. Yahweh said unto my Lord, sit thou at my hand, at, at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. You know, right. it's speaking of Yahweh shot. You know what I'm saying? Who's the who's the Lord's uh, right hand? And he's 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 who's gonna save us here in um in I, when you read in Isaiah. Uh where the heck I have I just had it. Salakia. Oh, I lost it now, Salakia, man. But yeah, in Isaiah, the, the book that I was just reading in Isaiah, oh, Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness, man. That's and that's right. the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah. And that's the Lord Yahweh Shah, man. I, right. I will I will Hamashiach, man. I would redeem mm him. -hmm. You know? Right. I got a precept to back you up, brother. Just to keep building on this uh truth. I mean, uh, uh well, it's truth, of course, but uh the trust yeah. that we need to have in Yahweh by Shemiah Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> um yeah, I know he's gonna get ready to wrap it up soon. Um, this is uh the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, otherwise known as Rock, chapter two, and uh, start at 10. Look at the generations. That's beautiful. Of I was going to read that, brother. I'm at verse eight and go down. Oh, you, you already there? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Go, yeah. Oh, that's yo, con, con. Yeah, go ahead. That's bro. beautiful. That's, that's what I was yeah, reading. Yeah. I was, he was headed to. Yeah. All right. right. Done, bro. So like, right. Yeah. Now you good, brother. It's all through the spirit. Yep. All right. Go ahead. You want me to read it for you then? Where you at? Con, I'm at verse eight. If you want to continue. Right. Yeah. Let me read that. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Oh, that's beautiful. beautiful. I didn't right. Even go. Hey, yeah, cool. right. Proving that he that believes in, in, in the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to have everlasting joy and what? Mercy. Mercy. This is what right. this is the faith and hope that we have, man. Because the the um the point is that we're about to go through bad times we're about to go through jacob's trouble. we're already in the in the in the beginning stages of jacob's trouble this is just the the um the peak of the iceberg the the tip of the iceberg this is this is yep. tip of the iceberg yep. this is yep. nothing this is truly nothing esau's about to kick down your door and if you were jay he's gonna take you out man because ultimately he wants to take out jay's going back into the to the georgia guy stone man it's about to get bad out here man and uh, we want the lord's mercy man because the scripture says fear not what man can do unto you but fear him that can show the body and the spirit that's right so this hey the lord controls everything these, right. these Edomites kicking in, these heathens kicking in. Um, and the Lord, the Lord's controlling all this, man. And he's gonna do this because he's gonna come and destroy the wicked, man. That's right. But you Jason gonna learn. It's not called Jacob's trouble for nothing, man. You Jason gonna learn because you Jakes are wicked, man. So repent right now, man. This is what we, this is what we hoping for, man. You think we? I got. Think, hey, man, we seeking for that mercy. That's right. That's right. I got a, I got a quick scripture to back up since we're talking about trust. Is Isaiah 26, verses 3 to 4. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because mm. he trusteth in thee, because he trusteth in thee, trust ye in the Lord forever. For the Lord, for, for the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is everlasting strength. And that word right. peace, man, you know what I'm saying? Trust, uh, that will keep him in perfect peace. When you go look up just a simple Google search, so uh, freedom from disturbance, tranquility, calm, calm, um, calmness, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's 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 the point on that. You know, calm, man. Because yo, like the brother said, we're in the peak of the uh, this is the peak of the iceberg, man. And, and the tip of the what you're hearing now, before before the tip of the iceberg, before uh uh, in that movie Titanic, when when they saw the uh that when they saw the iceberg, what did they do, man? That the the do the, the men that are, are assigned to be watching the watches for, for for danger or whatever. I don't know really what what their position name was named, but I know that we are the the uh, um the watches, Lord's will, Lord's will. We're part of that number, and and we're we're sounding off the alarm, the trumpet, man, letting you know, right. yo, we see an iceberg coming, man. We see Jacob's trouble coming, you know, right. to the spirit. We know the, the mo to the tb, right. huh? The dangers on the like, horizon. The, right. the dangers on the horizon. Correct, man. Right. Correct, right. brothers. Right. You know. Um. Yeah. Con. Con. You know. Um, now. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh Sirach, 
chapter 2, verse 10. And it reads, look at the generations of old and see, did, e did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? That's Question right. mark, right? Mm -hmm. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Beautiful. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Right? That's right. You know, the, Lord, got, the Lord took uh, care of his, man. This is what that scripture is saying, man. Anybody that truly believed with um with all their with all their heart, you know, was doing the work because if you truly believe, it's not just believing, it's not just a saying, I believe in that sin. No, you gotta prove it. Cause what is what is um uh, um uh, what is uh how does it go? What is faith without works? So right, you, gotta, yeah, yeah. you you oh. gotta prove that, that you truly believe in this thing, you fear the Lord, man. So by you doing this work, you're proving the Lord that you trust in him, that you're calling the Lord, man. You are calling on the Lord, you're trusting in the Lord, you know. And this is saying that who has the Lord ever forsaken, man? Who has the Lord ever, ever not um um you know um listened to their prayers that trusted in him fully, right. not just mouth, not just lip service, man. This is hey, a, the way that you um um conduct yourself when the cameras is not on, man. Right. You no. Know? So the Lord, hey man, the Lord took care of His man. Going back to right, the point, man. Only the Lord is going to take care of us in these last days. That's right. So right. you got to trust and believe, man. Mm -hmm. Hope and have faith. Yep, oh, that's a requirement. Lie. Right. Yes, sir. That's right. Uh, were you done with that? With those? There's one uh, more, got, brother. Yeah, I just okay, got one go more, ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yep. Okay. This is uh the eleventh verse. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. And that's you know? one of the main points, man. Saveth in the times of affliction, which right. is beautiful because that was that was one of the main, that was like the main point of this, man. We, The Lord is the one that's going to save you in the time of affliction. That's, hey, that's a beautiful scripture, man. That's right. That is, I love that. that. Is, right. Affliction, affliction is being the key, the key point to that, man. That's right. I got, I got a couple, and I'll go through it real quick. As yep. the brothers in the huh. mystery of the kingdom say, uh, some rapid scriptures, right? This right. is Isaiah What's the, forty-three. Um, that's the rocket. What was it? Uh, Psalms ninety-one. Right. Was, uh, uh, the the okay. I'll grab that. We're gonna After finish it. off on. Yeah, oh we'll yeah, Psalms on ninety-one. That. Yeah, I'll let um, you get so the rapid fire, bro. Just a, this, just a few, just to like. Like hammered more down on, yeah, you on, got it, on, brother. on that. This is Isaiah 43 and 2. Because we have to, we have to have these things. We have to have faith, hope, trust. You know what I'm saying? All in the Lord, man. Right. Um, it says right. Isaiah 43 and 2. When thou passest through the waters, I will I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When mm. thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall thy flames kindle upon thee. So you you know the Lord is gonna be looking out in every in every which way. Psalms right. forty and four, blessed is the man that maketh the Lord his trust and mm. respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies, man. And what are those lies that people are gonna be turning to, man? You know, um, um, uh, the, the the yeah, you know, Jesus, uh, Caesar Borgia, you know, mm -hmm. all these other five, right. uh, all these other uh, low hanging dumb gods. You know what I'm saying? That our people are into, man. Because even the scripture says that uh that they will not oh, man, I don't want to butcher it, but not 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 take not take heed to sound doctrine. Right. You know what I'm oh, saying? Right, right. And, even, and, and even in the last day, leave and even in the last days, you know, basically leave the truth. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know that the thoughts that I think towards you, save the Lord thoughts of peace and not evil and to give you an expected end and what and what did what do we expect to, uh, in the end man to be saved man from right. from all the calamities man and even after that to 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 be the first ones in this go around um in the kingdom man you know what i'm saying that's right um uh malachi three and six for i am the lord i change not therefore ye sons of jacob are not consumed so he's telling us through all these scriptures to trust in him, you know what I mean? To 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 have faith in him, that he's gonna be our strength, our buckler. And then it mm -hmm. says here, for I am the Lord, I change not. So he, he's not gonna change. As long as we keep it a buck with him, he's not gonna change on us. And we're not gonna and, and the sons of Jacob, Israel, right? The 12 tribes, uh, won't be consumed at all. Right. Um, 
this these last two, Joshua one and nine, have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. So the Lord's telling us, man, yo, uh, what is it? Uh, I, I, what's that phrase? That, that um, gird up your loins. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. Be a man, yo. Be strong and of good courage, man. Be brave. Mm -hmm. Be not afraid. Like basically, you seen something go down. Somebody's got his head, whole head chopped off or something because because a bunch of like wicked people next, not too far from you. Don't even be afraid of that, man. Trust in the Lord. You know right. what I'm saying? When they start right. talking about in the news, you know, oh, you, you know these Israelites this and and don't be don't be don't um. Uh, don't be surprised when you, you see brothers that you see right now on YouTube saying some wild shit on TV because they don't they don't grab your your, your features and, and made you say and do things that you're not that you're not you know that that goes contrary to what you've been uh we've been we've been preaching this whole time you know what I mean right. so it's saying have not have not I commanded thee be strong and of good courage be not afraid neither be thou dismayed for the Lord thy power is with thee wheresoever thou go. Man. So if you know how I said earlier, this this where soldier goes into sojourn in Dolo, right? And though in that town, I'm gonna wanna link up with one of you brothers or the or, or our other hash of diligent soldiers, right? Lord's will. But but for the most part, or in the, at least in the beginning, unless that's a lot to run into each other, brothers is gonna be dolo, man. Brothers is gonna be alone out here, man. But but at, it tells you right here, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy the um thy power is with thee whatsoever. You thou goest. So even though we don't see each other, the Lord is with you, man. The Lord is with you, man. Guiding your steps. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then finally, this is Hebrews chapter 13 and 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. So you know, our our, our uh, conversation should be um basically. Uh, uh, godly talk, man. Godly conversation, so we could stay in the spirit, you know. So we could stay in that spirit of of, of having trust, you know. And it don't matter what brothers is going through, man. From bills to to whatever the hell is on, you you go. The Lord knows you're going through all that, man. Right now, and that's nothing compared to, cause you know all these bills and all these crazy things, the the the, the beef with your woman, the the problems with the family, man. Once once we hit that iceberg, once this. This earth hits that iceberg, or this the, the time that we're living in finally hits that iceberg. You know, we're already at the tip of it, right? We can see the tip of the iceberg. But once we're fully in it, all that is, is you, you trust me, you're not going to worry about nothing that was happening the day before or the week before, man. When Jacob's right. trouble fully hit, it's full blown, and niggas is wilding out out here, you're not going to worry about no goddamn bills, man. The only thing that's going to be on right. your mind is, yeah, should be on your mind is, yeah, how will Hashem how will shine? That's it, man. You know? Or in other words, Yahweh, right. what Yahweh shot. Those are the only, you know what I'm saying? That's that's it, man. You know? That's right. That's right. I want to grab that out. What was it? Uh, Psalms 91? Yeah, because that'll go into like a little bit of what I touch right now. You know what I'm saying? As far as Jacob's trouble and all of that. But but it, it'll seal the deal, man. Because we, uh, as the brother started it off when he opened up, man, we have to trust in the Lord. Nothing else Lord. is going to save us in these last times, man. Yeah, not your, yeah, not your beloved forward, brothers. mother. Huh? It's 1144. Call Halal. Yeah, call Halal. Yeah, 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 so no matter right. what, you gotta look you the, the scripture says to take everything in cheerfully, man. So you have to you have to uh dig in dig, dig in within yourself and find that spiritual aspect of what you're going through, man. The right. spiritual reason for what you're going through, man. Right. You know? Yeah, because uh Yahweh Shai himself told us to endure hardness as a soldier, man. You right, know? brother. So we gotta keep That's fighting, right, you know, and hoping to uh you know, endure to the end. You know, endure to the end. And it uh, also says to put right. away uh Put put all put away those carnal those carnal uh thoughts carnal man. thoughts right those right, carnal exactly. thoughts we gotta at one point you know we going through what we are going through now so we pay bills we deal with our wives we deal with our family you know what I'm saying we deal with our children you know we deal with work and Esau or whatever hey but, but the scriptures but, are comforter bro exactly man right. but it's gonna okay, be we a understand time. why we going through this there's there's right. gonna be a time where all that like I said earlier is gonna is gonna be for the birds man 
and, and, right. and it's all about your how your how shy at that point, man. Right. And that and that oil that you you've been soaking up this whole time now, man. That's right. Know? Beautiful. That's right. Um, you got a brother in Psalms ninety one. Okay, you want me to start at the top? Yeah, we'll start at, at one. Okay, Con. So it's uh the book of Psalm, oh the Psalm ninety one and one, and it read it, and it reads so like yeah, um he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Right, and that secret place is in this truth, in this Bible, right. in these scriptures, you know. Right. Right. I will say. Of the Lord, you have by Shimei, I was shy. He is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and him will I trust. That's right. The Lord is our refuge. The Lord is what we run to when we need salvation, protection, when we need of anything. The scriptures clearly say, um, put um all your burdens upon the Lord. That's right. right. So That's he, right. he's our he he's who we're gonna trust in. You have by Shimei, I was shy. That's hey, right. those burdens, those burdens go into when we in Jacob's trouble, too. Man, there's a lot of things gonna be going down. We could oh. The only thing we all be able to do is just leave it to the Lord, man. That's, that's right. it. Right. That's right. Right. And that's the faith we have, bro. Going that's back. That's right. we, don't, we don't trust in none of this worldly shit that there's nothing that's going to save us but the Lord. That's what we trust right. in the Lord. That's, that's right. right. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and mm -hmm. from the noise and pestilence. Right. That snare of the fowler is that destruction that's coming. That noise and pestilence is that, is that, um, nuclear missiles hitting this place man you know right. first and foremost um babylon aka america you know and then them other places in the world that these missiles are meant to hit that's that noisome pestilence you know the lord the scripture says the lord's going to deliver thee from the snares of the fowlers and from the noisome pestilence that's, that's the right. trust that we have in yahweh bashim yahushai because i don't care who you think you is if you if you up there and you're not living under a rock you know that war is coming and if you know war is coming, you know that all these power nations are, are the scripture says, let the weak say I'm strong. All these nations are are, are ready to have a, a, a nuclear um a nuclear warfare. Battle. If you can right. say it. right. A battle, right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um verse four. four yep, four, four first. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. That's right. That's exactly right. Hey, the, it says that it, um, and under his wing shalt thou trust. You know what I'm saying? He shall cover thee with his feathers, man. Hey, it's like when you under someone's feather, like if you like uh like a bird, any type of bird, right? right. They go seeking under under the under under the um mother or father's um you know, their wing. mother. Yeah, I'll say right, mother. Right. I don't know. I don't really know a lot about birds, you know, but I know they go under their mother's wing for protection. That's the same. That's the same thing with the Lord. The Lord is a, a, a heavenly father, man. You know, he's a he's a he's a righteous, um, you know, um, um, being, you could say, you know, that he's going to protect his his. Hey, the scripture says that um, the scripture says that we're not the Lord's servants anymore, that we are his sons. You know, mm -hmm. it's like we upgraded to to being the lord like we are the lord's servants yes you know but the elect has upgraded to being the lord's son so we're gonna go under the lord's feather you know um if you could say you know we're gonna be under under the lord's protection because we trust in him you know right. his, his his truth shall be thy shield and buckler what is that truth the scriptures that's right you know yep uh it says thou shall not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrows that fly by day. Those arrows that fly are the, the ICBM missiles, man. It says, thou shalt shall not be afraid, man. Hey, man, so the Lord is going to take care of us. The, the scriptures truly say that the Lord blesses us blesses us with the, with the spirit of strength, power, love, and a sound mind. That's and right. that goes into in the by having the fear of the Lord, and that goes into by trusting and having faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, because the Lord is going to take care of us, He's going to be our shield, the buckler, our defense, our refuge. We're going to hide under His under His feathers. It says, Thou shalt not be afraid. That's what we seek it for the spirit of strength, power, man. That's the faith that we have in the Lord. That's right. Because we know it's going it's going to get bad. That's right. Keep going. Uh, yep. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, 
nor for destruction that wastes at noonday. That's right. A, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Hey, man, that means that the Lord's elect is going to be taken care of in these last days, man. There's going to be a lot of death. Like it even says in the book of I, um, Isaiah 66, the slain of the Lord shall be many. That's right. You know, so it's going to be a lot of death. But it says, but but it shall not come nigh thee. Meaning the Lord's going to take care of his elect, man. That's right. You know, right, keep going. Yep. Uh, only with thine eyes shall thou behold the, and see the reward of the wicked. Hey, the scripture says in the book of Revelation, reward her double. That's right. Double onto her, man. That She's going to get double onto her, that cup, man. Because Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, these heathens, you other nations that are not Israelites, um, they have they have gone against the Lord's people, man, the apple of his eye, man. They have totally right. gone against us and put us at the bottom of the food chain. And, you know, um, the Lord is going to take care of you, man. That reward, reward of the wicked is going to be your destruction and your downfall. That's that right. reward. And, and um. And as I read earlier in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. And so the Lord's thoughts towards us is save the, it says, save your how, yeah, save your how, uh, the thoughts of peace and not evil to give you an expected end, right. which goes into what you was just saying. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Uh, you, you got a verse, Brother Laha? Oh, no, I was just writing the uh, kind. precept. <laughs> I see the precept. Well, this precept that we're going into, I'm actually, I'll mention it when we get down to it. Um, let me see. Uh, verse 9. Uh -huh. Because thou hast made the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil, you know, and, you know, me and uh, brothers always like to break down the word evil. Eve meaning time, ill meaning bad. So there shall be no bad time befall thee neither shall any plague come, come nigh thy dwelling, mm -hmm. right? And this is our 11th verse. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. And, you know, the, the, and this is the precept that, you know, that just came to mind that we read um, Psalms um, 34 and 7, right? The Lord said, the angel of the Lord, Yehowah by Shimei Awashai, encampeth around about them that fear him and delivereth them. It's literally saying the same thing. Yep. You know, and then uh, 12 verse, they shall bear thee up in their hands. Talk about the angels, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Keep going. That was that was it there. Yeah, go on, that go was on. 10. Yeah. Yep. That was uh, uh down to 12. Yep. Hey, so it says that shall no evil. There shall no evil before thee. Neither shall any plague come if thou, thou, thy dwelling, meaning where you where you where you live, right? For he shall give the angels charge over thee to keep thee in thy ways, man. Angels are going to be right. looking over you, man. That's right. right. All those brothers and sisters that have the tawab, the, the righteous mark, the mark from the heavenly father, man. Right, the mark of exemption. The mark right. of the, that's, yeah, that word tawab is is Hebrew and it, and it goes into the mark of exemption, you know? Right, right. You know, because the, the, the Esau got his uh, left hand uh, mark Right, which, is the, which is the mo to the tv right and and yahweh and yahweh why yahweh shy has um his mark you know with, with his right hand mark man which is in right. a, a, a spiritual mark a that spiritual only the mark. angels and, and and the uh and the elect themselves at, at some point we'll see you know or we'll right. feel man you know you know which is uh um you know you can compare it to during the time of uh um you know in egypt with the with you know with the Passover right with the the putting the blood over the doorpost that's what you know the, with the whole Passover right so right. the deaf angel which was Yahweh Shai would that's pass right. over and the, that was basically the the mark the the you know the wad that uh, um the mark of exemption from that's judgment right. that's you right. know so hey. that's you know now it's a spiritual we didn't have to physically put blood because Yahweh Shai died you Is know for blood? the elect. So that's that's, right. the, that's the his, blood over the doorpost right there. That's right. His blood, his oh. blood is over us, man. Yo, that's right. as the scripture says, man, nothing, nothing new under the sun, and only so in, in so many words, God. just roughly paraphrase. Nothing God. new Beautiful. under the sun, man. What was, what was, what will be again, man. That's you right. know, 
and, right. and and we seeing it through the spirit play play out, man. You know. That's right. Right. That's right. And, um, if you brothers don't got anything else, you know, we're gonna close out. You know, you guys got anything? Oh uh, no, nah. nah, brother. Nope. Hey, um. Nope. So with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. You know, we want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, We want to give double honors again to the elder apostles. The elders and apostles are great millstone who rule well and taught us this truth and are still teaching this truth to this day. I want to say shalom to the house of Dawada. You know, the brothers out there, the elect, the hopeful elect, you know, um, teaching this truth in the highways and byways. We want to say shalom to the Akwath out there that are staying in order. We want to say DTA. 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 A Baba Ba. A Baba Ba. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. You know, and until the next one, Lord willing, shalom. Shalom. shalom.